Well, just about everything is more expensive this year versus last year, and certainly uh, more expensive this month versus last month. The consumer price index surged 8.2 percent last month. Food prices increased 13 percent year over year. Joining me right now is the president and CEO of Stu Leonard's, the man himself, Stu Leonard, joining us right now. <laughs> Stu, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. And I know that you've been watching your costs go up on the producer level. What foods have you seen the big Biggest spike in lately, and do you think of uh, areas that people can find ways to save money as they uh, shop for their holiday meals? Well, you know what? It's a challenge today for our customers, you know, and, and it's a challenge for all retailers too, because you want to give the best value you can out there. But right now, what you're seeing is, is uh, chicken prices now are starting to come down. You have all these commodity things happening. Chicken, for instance, lobster prices are coming down. Meat prices seem to be easing up a little bit right now. But then with this uh, uh, bird flu, you have a real pop going on right now with egg price. So it's a wild ride right now. And one of the things uh, that we're trying to do is just, just split everything 50-50 with our suppliers right now. Well, that's great because I know that you could actually, uh, you know, pass it all on to consumers, but you're trying not to. So you're splitting it there. But let me ask you, Stu, you know, when we see these CPI numbers every month, we notice that it's food prices that are stubbornly high. I mean, oil prices have come off of the highs. Even used cars have come off of the highs. But food is still very, very high, expensive in price. Why does it take so long to move the needle on food, Stu? Well, I, I think there's a lot of lagging indicators in there with food. I mean, we just had a heat wave out in California, and I mean, I'm standing here right now next to some strawberries. You know, these are have gone up in price because of that. So you don't know what's in these CPI numbers. I just looked up to try to find out what mayonnaise was, and it includes like, like 40 different items, you know, five-gallon pails that restaurants are getting and everything. So I wouldn't rely too much on, I wouldn't rely on those numbers, but I, we notice it's about 5% in the store right now. And customers are getting smart. You know, they're shopping different. Um, they're, if chicken prices are coming down, I mean, here's, here's something we're doing. We're doing like a chicken parmesan for the whole family. You know, you can buy this. Um, it's like three pounds of, of food, you know, for 25 bucks. Yep. So yep. people will buy something like that. And, you know, I've even heard, which I've never heard in my 50 years of doing this, like people saying, I'm cooking ham and eggs for dinner. <laughs> wow. You know, yeah. eggs, eggs are the least expensive protein right now. So you're seeing people tighten their belt and switch. But the one thing I would say for all, all retailers right now is there's a few things we're doing. Don't cut back on customer service. We went all through the pandemic. We were an essential business. We didn't close our doors at all. But one of the things we did was made a lot of customers happy. You know, we have the big rock in front of the store. You know, rule one, the customer's always right. And then rule two, if they're ever wrong, reread rule number one. <laughs> and we're still sticking <laughs> we're still sticking to that at the store. And the I, other thing I we're doing it. is, is <laughs> but but you know, I notice a lot of companies are cutting back on customer service. Don't do yeah. it now. No. I think going through these turbulent times is a time to really win customers over for not maybe 2023, but uh, 2022, but 23 and beyond. Yeah, yeah. Stu, I wonder if people are going to have chicken instead of turkey this Thanksgiving. We're a month away from Thanksgiving, and turkey prices are expected to hit record highs. A good bird costing you $6.70 a pound in September. That's 112% higher than it was in 2021 when prices were, what, $3.16 per pound. Stu, should shoppers rethink what they serve for Thanksgiving this year? And what about replacing the turkey? <laughs> With the chicken, and by the way, you said eggs are the most affordable or the best uh, protein right now, and a dozen eggs is still up 30 percent year over year. By the yeah. way, yeah, Maria, you know what? There's certain things you'll never change in people's life. You're going to have a turkey in the middle of your table at Thanksgiving, okay? I mean, that thing could cost a hundred dollars, you know, and and I mean, you got to have a turkey, you know, and 
Uh, now, the question is, can you supplement it with other things? Now, for yeah. instance, at our house, when we have we have a turkey, but we also have maybe salmon uh, along with it. Or maybe you might even want to have something less expensive, like some burgers for the kids, you know, to fill them up a little bit more before they get to the main uh, course. But, you know, a turkey is the least expensive protein. You know what amazes me? I can't believe people like complain turkeys are a dollar fifty a pound, two dollars, two fifty, and then they go over to the cold cut counter and buy, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, sliced cold cuts for like twelve dollars a pound for turkey. I, yep. I can't figure it out. Re relax with your turkey. Have your turkey. <laughs> Look around your Thanksgiving table and see everybody smile and have a great yes. time and serve great wine and yes. enjoy your Thanksgiving. But, you know, yeah. you also want to tighten your belt up. You want to tighten your belt up a little bit and yeah. shop smart. Well, we're all you know, looking for ways to do that. Stu, the yeah. store looks amazing behind yeah. you, Stu Leonard's. Uh, thanks very much for all that you're doing. And happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you beforehand. Hopefully I will. Stu I Leonard, hope I thank get, you so much. Uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you, everybody.